right. That's some Jesse Mayhem Kill. Jump, baby, jump. Yeah, that's right. Jump, baby, jump. Jesse Mayhem Kill. Let's turn that down a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about Jesse Mayhem Kill. Jesse Mayhem Kill was the granddaughter of Sid Hampill. Sid Hampill and Lucia Smith, if you find a video of him playing a banjo, he's that dude with that little tuft of looks like cotton, a little ball right here, like a cotton ball. Anyway, he uh, used to play with Sid Hampill and they teamed up with Sun House about 1936 and I don't care what anybody says, this thing right here and one of these things right here, I don't care whether you're talking about Charlie Patton or uh, who's that other guy? Uh, it escapes me. Yeah, Robert Johnson, that's the one. Anyway, they all learned from Sun House. So, uh, I'm going to give you a link below at the end of my video about how to get uh, this album from Jesse May Hampill. Anyway, while we're here, uh, housekeeping as always. The circle at the end of the video is how to subscribe. There's a playlist there and a suggested video as well as my email address. I've been getting a lot of email addresses about some things and you're going to want to send me one because this topic, the topic of this, Jesse May, knock it off. Anyway, the topic of this episode is strings, strings, the things that are sticking out right here. All right, this guitar right here, uh, you're going to see it in the next episode, which is going to be called Electric Chair. Um, I'll tell you about the details there, but it's a, a four-string cigar boss guitar with uh, a, a piezo pickup and a coil pickup. Um, and I was uh, stringing it up today to uh, hear what it sounded like the first time. And it dawned on me, I have never done a video about strings. Uh, what strings I use, how I uh, string the guitar up, and what kind of uh, uh, tunings you can get with that. Now remember, I don't know anything about playing guitar, uh, and you're about to hear that, but um, I'm going to give you a few tips about guitars and strings and tunings that I commonly use to send these out to artists. First thing I want to talk about is how thick necks are. You remember uh, this guitar, it was in an episode at C6 Steve playing at the end of it. This is my very first guitar. But if you look at this, you're going to see that the neck is very thin. It's a single board. It goes all the way through to be a single board. Uh, this guitar, on the other hand, is uh, a few boards thick and it gets real thick right here and goes all the way through. So these are both uh, neck through the box guitars, but you can see there's quite a difference in the thickness of the neck. Now I'm going to dive right into strings. These are Ernie Ball strings. Why do I use Ernie Ball strings? Well, because the first set of strings I ever bought was at Guitar Center and they sold me Ernie Ball strings. And I'm one of those people that once I'm used to something, I keep using it, I'm familiar with it. Um, and if you're going to use uh, some other kind of string, that's great. Um, but I don't know whether these are as good as anything else or not, but this is what I use. Now, when people start talking about uh, tuning and open A and D and vestibule, and I don't even know what you're talking about. So what I do is I go by string gauge and then how those strings are tuned. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is when you're picking strings, you better go back to how thick that neck is or how thin that neck is. Now, I've got guitars out there that have a 60 string as the thumper string uh, or a 56. These are heavy strings. Now, these heavy strings are usually put up on the top of the, the top string and they're a thumper string because you usually have people doing this kind of stuff. So they've got this thumping all the time. I put a 60 string on this guitar once I start tightening it up anything but the lowest of a low low a where it's just basically thumping and basically ready to fall off of the guitar you start cinching up this string on a single board thickness neck and you're going to snap this 
and until it snaps it's going to start to bow and it's going to raise your action up off the fingerboard and you remember the problem with this guitar is the action was high enough to drive a semi truck underneath in the first place and then when you start stringing it up with heavy strings it's just going to get worse and you're going to hear your neck popping and crackling and it's never going to stay in tune so if you're going to use a heavy thumper string you start getting up over 50 you better have a thick enough neck so again uh, anything over 50, 56, 60 strings. Um, this is a couple boards thick right here. The heel gets even thicker. It goes all the way through the box. Um, even when you start thinking about cutting the neck out inside the box for the pickup, you might want to use a flat humbucker or something instead of a big coil because you put big strings on, it turns it into, that's right, how you like my bow and arrow up here. It basically will turn your neck into a bow and you could shoot arrows out of it and it's going to be a problem. Now those 56 and 60 strings, those are special tunings. They belong to certain artists. I want to be alive tomorrow morning, so I'm not going to tell you who the artists are and what their tunings are. That's like giving away grandma's secret recipe and they wouldn't enjoy that at all. So I'm just going to tell you what I typically string up with and tell you what you can do to tune the guitar up. Okay, the strings I'm going to tell you about in the tuning uh, is for a four-string guitar. Uh, sometimes people want three-string guitars. I've built three-string guitars, but what I tell people now is if the day comes where you want a four-string guitar, say you're running three strings and you decide you want to get into some finger picking style where you've got a big thumper string on your guitar, you can easily uh, make a four string guitar into a four string guitar imagine that isn't that profound but you certainly can't take a three string guitar and turn it into a four string guitar without messing up the neck and all kinds of other stuff so if you're thinking about any time having a four string guitar and you're going to build or order one i would go ahead and bring and buy the four string guitar uh, go ahead and string it up with three leave one of them not strung up and then when the day comes you're good to go i'll save you some money there with that tip okay drum roll uh, please here comes the secret the strings are 46 36 20 p that means 20 plain it's not a wound string the first two strings are wound and the last one is a 16 that is also not a wound string so one more time 46 36 20 p and 16 so why plain strings instead of wound strings on the lower ones well your slide is most of that action is going to be picked up on the higher toned strings the highest tuned strings and you won't get that jump that happens on a wound string on a string that's a plain straight steel string so one more time 46 36 20 plain and 16 okay i've got a, a little uh uh rolling cube set up over here it's pretty nice it's got a battery a feature on it so you could play it on the street um, and um, it plugs in as well so it's a nice little practice amp anyway with the four strings I've told you about the first tuning that we're going to hear is G D G D so that's starting from the heavy string down to the highest string G D G D Okay, now the next tuning is uh, you tune down two of the strings, the second and fourth string, uh, to C instead of D. So starting from the, the thumper string, you still got G, C, G. the last one I'm going to show you uh, is a little bit different we've actually tuned up the G strings to G sharp uh, we've tuned up the second string the second heaviest string to D sharp so you got G sharp D sharp the third string which was a G is now tuned up to G sharp and then we've dropped the highest string 
to a C, so it's G sharp, D sharp, G sharp, and C. I actually like that tuning a lot. G sharp, D sharp, G sharp, C. Okay, so there's my four secret strings and three tunings that you can use. In any event, when you string up a guitar with those strings, you can send it out uh, to whoever you're sending it to with some confidence that they've got some versatility in that string set you're giving them and the tuning to kind of give you that North Mississippi sound we're looking for and uh, also to uh, make it useful to them as an individual. So uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching my channel. If you've got questions about where I get my strings, uh, which dealer I use, send me an email. I'll be happy to um, share that information with you through the email. All right, Jesse May. I'm going to give you a link in the comment section below where you can get a hold of this fine music. Remember, she had influences directly from Sun House, so you can hear it in her music. Anyway, next time we'll be talking about, yeah, we're going to the electric chair. <laughs>